And good morning with another morning coffee with Mark I know, uh, took a little break there for a couple of weeks. Had to go through understanding some of the changes that I'm facing, whether it be uh, some more physical, some more mental, and a lot of it has to do with where I'm going. And it was like finding a roadblock, but also taking the time to study the solutions that were offered and learning from that. For me, it's always about learning something new. So first up, it's nice to be back and um, sharing with you some of the things that I did get to actually understand mm -hmm. from that. Um, one of the things that was interesting was actually uh, in my travels um, is that I wanted to get to a particular place using my GPS, one of the Google Drives, and it was blocked off. We were so close and all of a sudden we have to be rerouted. Automatic thing that happens to the GPS, it reroutes you and finds different places or different choices to be rerouted at. And you can look at these choices and pick one. And well then, isn't that light just like life? So there will always be uh, other reroutes in your decisions of what you're doing because basically we move on. No matter what, you will always move on. And in the end, whatever that misery that you're going through or the problems you're going through, it will end too. So will you. <laughs> so it's how you react to those things. And I found that very interesting. Um, a recent health injury that I had changes everything that I do because one of the important major parts of what I do is based on this particular body part. Now with that injury, it slows you down and says, well, you can't do that because you're going to have to heal or you're going to have it repaired. And when you're doing that, it's so irritating because that is who you are, or part of what you're doing. But it also teaches you to, boom, slow down. Bottom line is, here are your reroutes or your basically solutions or options of what you're going to do. And when you do that, and you have to pick one, you'll also have to live through the idea of, well, whatever I picked, I'm going to have to stick with it. And in doing so, I found so many interesting things, physical-wise. As you grow and as you age and as things develop around you, things will change. And you just have to accept that. And whatever the solutions or the things that you end up coming up with, you're going to have to decide with, okay, um, let's say, for example, a body part of yours is weakening in a certain way, has to be repaired. There are other muscles all around you that will take over or try to compensate for that. It's up to you to say, oh, hi, hi there. I'm your stabilizer muscles. Now that the major one is out, we're taking over. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, stabilizers, stabilizer muscles. Who exactly are you guys? And you study about it. You learn about it. All these other guys are coming to help you get there. Now, it's up to you to accept that and say, okay, I'm going to really have to develop these other muscle groups to take over. Not just say, oh, you're good. You're, you're there. Sucks. I don't want to use you, but I have to. No. Look at each one, and you'll be amazed at how we as humans evolve and how we can adapt to the situation. And that was a study that I was doing. And the same thing would happen in life. Let's say a bad situation happened to you. There is no happiness in having a loss, a loss of a family member, a loss of a loved one or anybody, right? Or a loss of jobs or all that. It, it's going to happen. Suck it up. It's life. But how you react to it. And when those negative things happen to you, you'll be surprised. There are a lot of people around you or friends, family members who care about you. And they'll offer their sympathies or at least come around and say, if there's anything I can do. And we, we usually are so caught up with the pain that we're going through. We forget about, oh, all these other people are actually there. Instead of looking up and saying, thank you. And actually, you know what? That felt good. And you are my stabilizer muscles. All these support systems around you, people who care, reach out to them and say, hey, buddy, thanks for calling me. Um, that was really good. Sometimes you get to talk or vent or tell or even give you solutions. We want to find solutions right away. Sometimes be there because one thing I learned, when that time when I had to be rerouted from my initial ride, I found more interesting things from that other route that I did that if I never had a chance to do that, I would not have discovered the beautiful gardens that I saw, the beautiful architecture and people around that reroute that I had to take if I didn't take the time to actually appreciate that this other solution was probably put there for a reason. And everything that we do, uh, you know, the thing about me recently was, was that injury that I suffered, it really slowed me down. It forced me to say, okay, good, you're so busy focusing on this because that's all that you do. Boom, the body or whatever is put into you was actually sometimes put there so that you have to slow down because you can't go forward and you really have to slow down to make it work. Then all of a sudden you get to realize, oh, there's so many other things that I'm missing out on because I'm so focused on this and forcing it. 
if you want to talk about flow, flow is about going with things, you know, it'll reroute itself. When you find a stream of water and there's some kind of blotch in there, it will reroute around it, over it, under it, it will always find a way. But try to take the time in that rerouting of that energy, that rerouting of all these solutions, to take time to also appreciate those solutions that came up to you. Not just take it for the sake of, I got to get to the end goal, but look at the things around you. And that, that for me was a discovery in my sense of the injuries or understanding physical, physicality of understanding that all these other solutions that go around me, that are evolving around me, I have to thank them or at least say, hey, thank you, stabilizer muscles, or thank you for whatever, fast twitch, slow twitch, whatever, these, all these sciences that go around it and really help them out so that they can help you also be or get to your point. Once again, it's good to be back. I hope everybody here is doing well, enjoying the summer. The warmth is there. And uh, once again, if life offers you a lot of different options, seek out these options. Even if you begrudgingly have to take those options, but then once you take those options, stop for a second and say, at least you have options. Worse or bad, try to find out and study it because then that focus of it will get you to your point and you've learned something and you learn to adapt and move on and it gets better, always better. Positive thoughts for today. Morning coffee, cup of joe. Hope you guys are doing good. Tonight, Fortune Fire should be a new episode. I don't know if they keep changing things up, but I do believe we have a new episode coming up tonight. Mm -hmm. Take care, folks.